Silicon Dioxide This beautiful stone is a blend of amethyst and citrine. Both gems contain a variety of quartz crystals, amethyst being the purple and citrine being the yellowish orange, making them the same essential chemical makeup. The distinct color difference comes from how their minor iron impurity is oxidized and heated. Since all the basic compounds are the same in both crystals, it isn't too surprising for both of them to blend into one beautiful and unique gemstone. The name is a recent term created after interest was sparked by a very distinct coloration blend. It is a naturally occurring stone, but it is very rare, with only one known significant source in Bolivia. However, there are smaller sources throughout South American amethyst mines. It had already been known by the locals of the area for hundreds of years. But it wasn't until the 1980s that the stone became known around the world and commercialized. The distinct color split is what makes the stone very unique and sets it apart from other gemstones in the market. The ideal color is a deep orange and a very vivid purple, with the preferred look by all dealers and buyers being a 50-50 split in the color. However, the deepest colors are found on larger stones, usually over 5 carats in size, making a clear split in the color harder to find. Although that very specific look is most often wanted and distributed, many cuts have been made into very elaborate art pieces to show the color in more fascinating ways. That ideal cut of 50-50 with deep color is very inefficient to use with raw gemstones, so many dealers have resorted to just using a 30-70 or even a 10-90 color split, a shallow color, to maximize the number of ametrine cuts they can get. Sometimes cuts are made with unique patterns that aren't just designed to divide. A stone can be formed from a chicken pattern, or it can have waves of color in it, and the cuts are made to match that natural flow of color anywhere on the raw stone. This is one of my favorite examples for showing the before and after transformation on any raw cut. really gives you an idea for the size and importance of the light. Since quartz has a lot of silicone, it has many electrical uses and has been put into things as large as computer chips to things as small as components and watches. However, the quartz has to be fairly large, clear rock crystal form in order for it to be used for this purpose. It is possible for this gemstone to be used as sandpaper, in grindstones, and as an industrial polisher because of how hard the material is, but it is not the best idea because of how rare it is. As you may have guessed, this stone is not recognized for any uses within Western medicine. However, there are health uses for believers in such things, especially in Eastern medicine, Wicca, and alternative medicine, and maybe even metatherapy. It has a function in a relatively new and growing practice of crystal therapy that uses different stones to allow good healing energy flow to enter the body and negative disease causing energy flow to leave. This stone, being a blend of both amethyst and citrine, means that it connects the spiritual and physical realms within this belief, allowing for a connection to spiritual guidance and the ability to assimilate that into one's own life. It is a perfect blend of masculine and feminine energies, and therefore resembles and functions as a source of soothing harmony. This stone is believed to open up creativity and act as a stress reliever. It is also perfect for people dealing with long-term chronic pain or disability. It is also known within these groups to help work out blockages out of people's systems, both in the body and the aura in this case. Because of the very real electrical properties of quartz, and the believed to be a high energy created by the amethyst, and for red radiation possibly, it can help with cell regeneration, sleep and mood regulation, blood and bodily fluid circulation, removing toxins and killing bacteria in the system. It also increases antioxidant activity. In this practice, Seichen is used more for cleaning and absorbing negative energy from an area or breaking and displacing bad energies. There is not much of a scientific attempt to explain any healing properties, but in the health crystal community, it is very positive and supportive and known to help with degenerative diseases, digestive problems, frequent nightmares, and even relationship issues. When ametrine is perfectly blended, it is perfect for opening the third eye. The phrase, I am intuitive and protected, applies here. Thank you for joining me on this little dive into Amatrine. I hope it was entertaining and that you learned a little something. See you next time. Bye.